Hello, my fellow kings, to the best book review. I don't know, man. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. <laughs> If you're watching this, you must be cleaning, cleaning friends. I am watching this because I've got no friends. Travis actually cannot read, so uh, if anybody can come and like teach him how to fucking read. Anyways, as I said in the beginning, uh, before uh, that fucking dumbass interrupted me, I'm doing a book review on. Kings of the Wild, written by Nicholas Ames. <laughs> this is a fantasy book, and actually a lot of people recommended this book, and I saw really good reviews on it, so I decided, why not? Why not buy it? Why not read it, you know? <laughs> Kings of the Wild, in short and without spoilers, is about your mom. Yeah. Sorry that you had to hear that this way, but... Yeah, man. <laughs> It's about an old mercenary band uh, coming together once again after many years to save uh, Gabriel's daughter. And Gabriel is one of is a member of the band. First off, I would like to touch on the things that I really liked in this book. Those are the characters. The characters are simply amazing. They are filled with personal motives and desires. However, especially the main gang, uh, they will abandon those motives if the band is in trouble and in, in dire need. Almost every character, if not all in this book, are very well developed and written. I don't think that any character in this book is actually plain. And the main characters have a lot of unique personalities that are really well written and they're really not boring. This band was the best mercenary band out there in the world and they're getting together to help one of the members of the band and it's really inspiring because they put everything aside to help this man. All of the characters in this book are also very comedic. And that's the second thing I liked about this book and it's that it's hilarious to read. I think this was the first book that I actually read and that made me laugh a couple of times actually. A bit more about the world and the characters as Daniel Green uh, said in his review, you can check out his channel here. This book has a dungeon and dragons kind of feel, especially because of the mythical monsters, the heroes who are actually the mercenary bands, different rare artifacts like weapons, armors, shields and uh, all that kind of shit. The book really has kind of like a video game feel and like a role playing vibe. Moving on, you will read this book fairly quickly. Uh, however, at this point I do have some objections and some negative things, some criticism I want to touch on and I want to address that uh, this book has a lot of unknown beasts, especially if you never played games like World of Warcraft or if you never played role-playing games such as Dungeons and Dragons. When I was reading this book I actually had to google a lot of times what these beasts are because the author doesn't really explain them in the book and then when you have to check on, on internet what these beasts are you lose the momentum of reading the book and that's why I had some trouble uh, having uh, consistency while reading this book. Moreover, the book has a very simple uh, story, which is not actually a negative, uh, but, but anyways, this is not really a criticism because I really like the story and I really like the characters. The characters really felt real and that's, I think, the most important thing in a book. And also the ending, I really like the ending because it was wholesome and a bit bittersweet. In conclusion, Kings of the Wild is a great book and I would highly recommend it to anybody who likes to read fantasy books. I think people who play games like Dungeons and Dragons and who play video games such as World of Warcraft would really appreciate this book and I think they would really enjoy this book probably much more than I did but that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy this book, I really enjoyed it but they would enjoy it more than I did. The characters are fantastic, the story is good, the humor is brilliant and the world building is actually very very solid. If I had to compare this book to another series or just, to a, just another book I would compare it to the Witcher series, even though I didn't read it, I played the video game, The Witcher 3, Wild well Hunt. My overall score would be a 7 out of 10. And yeah, it's not the highest score, but still, as I said in my conclusion, I would recommend this book. It's not as good as some of the other fantasy books that I read, such as The Name of the Wind, which I will make a review on. 
because that is my uh, favorite fantasy book thus far so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did please leave a like and comment down below also subscribe to my channel to support the channel and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next video